I think it's very, very important to discover what is silence. Silence is not only not talking. Silence is more deeper because the great noise is inside ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, our wonderful students, dear friends, I'm delighted to welcome you to this evening's talk by a very special guest. Even in our churches, there is too much noise. So it's not a place where we can encounter God silently. Silence makes man more similar to God because God, I said, is silence. He talks in silence. Uh, we encounter him in silence. And if we remain with God, we become silent. What makes the Cardinal's insights most pointed, authentic, and valuable is that they were shaped not just in the face of the indifference, skepticism, and ridicule that religious believers all too often encounter in secular society, but also in the teeth of the far more sinister and formidable opposition offered in his youth by a Marxist dictatorship in his native Guinea. I think why the Western countries today are no, no believers, are less believers, because they are every time talking. They know no silence and the face is going down. Silence is really the moment where I construct myself as a human being related to God. And without God and without silence, we are lost. What are we doing here? In other words, what are our lives for? What kind of people are we called to be? The Western society seems to be lost because when we are cut from God, we are lost. It's like a tree without roots. It's like a river without the fountains. God is our fountain. If we are cut from God, we are lost, and God is silent.